Hello YouTube, my name is Pat Santoro Jr. with Around the Clock Rug Washing and Specialty Cleaning Services. This is Zach. Say hello Zach. There hello. Uh, today we are out of the rug shop and we are going to be doing a bunch of tile and grout cleaning. Uh, we're going to be doing this kitchen area here. We're going to be doing this floor here. This bathroom here. And we've got this bar area over here as well. Uh, now this is a local fire department uh, that we clean. Now uh, we do a whole bunch of work here, but uh, we do these floors every three months. And they usually come out pretty good. So I want to show you guys what we're doing and we will uh, get started and uh, get to it. All right, so come in here. Alright, so right now I am spraying um, our cleaning solution for tile and grout. Uh, I'm just trying to cover everything. Uh, we use this work sprayer. I actually love this sprayer. Uh, hoping one day maybe work sponsors us. Alright. So we just do the floors here. All I'm trying to do is, is make sure I cover all the grout, line, grout lines. And then we are going to let it dwell. And Zach is going to run this machine right here. Show him the brush pro. This is our mini brush pro. And we're going to run this to help break up all the dirt and debris that's just stuck in the grout line. So I will uh, keep it, uh, spraying this. And then I'm going to show you guys how Zach runs that machine. Okay. So I've got the whole this whole section um, sprayed here. Zach is now running the brush pro. And he is taking his time, he's making sure he runs over every grout line. Why don't you, uh, yep, there you go. And he's just taking his time, going around everything, going back and forth. Now this machine counter rotates, so it doesn't really matter if you go forward or backward. They both work. There he is, Manny. Pat Senior. The whole, the whole gang's here today. Okay. And like I said, all he's doing is just running over each grout line, taking his time with this little little brush bar with the um, aggressive brushes on it. And then from there, we're going to steam clean this floor. Alright, so I'm going to let him finish up, and we are going to hot water extract it. Alright, so, we let it dwell, we ran that brush bar, and now we're hot water extracting. So you can see that here, this is our spinner, it's got hot water and pressure, it makes a spinning motion, and then back at the same time. All I'm doing now is just going over every ground line, taking my time, getting this floor clean. Got my uh, my father behind the camera there. Hello. So after we're done uh, sucking up the dirty water and cleaning the grout. We're going to mop the floor to dry it, and we'll move on to the next part of the floor. Uh, it's very important, number one, just to let you know that let the chemical work for you. So normally we put a chemical down, we let it stay there, we dwell on the floor 10 to 15 minutes, then we agitate it, and then we, uh, we, ex we use the spinner and we extract the uh, dirty water cleaning the grout lines at the same time. Uh, it works really well. Um, trying to do this with a, without a truck mount, I don't know how we ever did it before. I was just gonna ask that actually. I was gonna say, is this the only way to do this? Not really, but What's that? I think it's the most efficient. Yeah, well, years ago, we just used to like, just scrub it and mop it up. Vacuum it up and mop it up. 
like I'm so old, we didn't have vacuums when I was younger in this business. Yeah. Used to wax the floor and um, used to mop it up. We used two, three buckets to rinse the floor before we had water vacuums. So we've got the tile and grout cleaner on this part of the floor. Jack's going to run the brush pro. And we try to, we actually sprayed this twice. We really want to break up all this grease and dirt. Um, trying, to, trying to work smarter, not harder. Um, Go ahead. And you can see this actually makes a lot of foam, but works really well. This chemical has been dwelling for a while, so as soon as we run this brush flow, we can actually start running the extractor. And you can see how much how much dirt is actually coming out of it. Sometimes in kitchen floors you have to do certain spots twice just because the chemical can't penetrate deep enough, but we will get it uh, we will get it done. Still going out of here on this kitchen floor. So take the best video I can. Now I am actually uh, running this pinning.
Okay, so we are finished with the bathroom here. This is all dry, much, much cleaner. Uh, we moved out to this floor here, also dry, nice and clean. Now we're on the kitchen. The kitchen is all finished. Uh, still have some darker wet spots here, like right by the door there, you can see it's still a little wet. Um, but these grout lines look much better. Much more uniform too, as well. Now we're going down towards the bar area. This part is clean. Still have to do all this right here. Uh, this whole side is clean now. Uh, this is dark grout, so it's kind of hard to see any kind of before and after. Um, but it is much cleaner. And Zach is actually just mopping up. Uh, once we use the hot water extraction, we always mop after. That way we don't leave any water spots or you know, dried water stains or anything like that. All right, so we're going to do this last section here. And then we actually have one more bathroom to do, so we'll show you that. Um, but we will uh, show you what we're doing. All right, so Zach is spraying the solution down for the last little piece of this bar area we have. He's making nice, even strokes back and forth, trying to not make, trying to cover everything. All right, just come a little bit more up here, make yourself a little line. Yep, oh, right here. Perfect. Good, good. Oh, yeah. We got my legs. My legs will be nice and clean. All right. <laughs> So he takes wide, like sweeping passes in the main and the uh, more open areas, and then he kind of concentrates around the corner. All right. All right, so we're going to run the brush pro and go from there. Zach is just running the brush pro, the small 10 inch one that we have here on this job with our uh, Kylan Grout brush on the brush pro. And it makes, you can see it kind of makes this nice foam. And then we will get this extracted with our truck mount. All right, so this is the last bathroom that was actually cleaned for today. Um, we sprayed the chemical down, let it go for 10 to 15 minutes. We ran a uh, counter rotating brush over it to loosen up the dirt in the ground on top of the stone. And now we are lifting and vacuuming the dirt out, as you can see, uh, past going. And then what we'll do is, when we're done with this process, we'll come in. We'll, we'll mop it and let it dry and it'll be good to go ready for you today. So like I said in my other video, the other video um, or earlier today, I don't know how people do this without a truck belt. It's uh, so much more thorough. A lot of guys are doing this, they're running a uh, side to side with a brush or a pad and they're water vacuuming it up on this machine with the, with the heat of 220 degrees and um, the pressure at about 1100 to 1100 psi and then with the, uh, the vacuum it really does, it really does a really good job so anyway um, that's it we'll, uh, we'll see you later All right, guys, uh, we are all finished. I'm going to show you guys some after photos and maybe some before pictures. Uh, the, the dirty water dump, that's coming. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Say goodbye, Zach. <laughs> and again, this is this floor here, all finished. He's just putting the furniture back. And like I said, we're going to show you some before and after photos. Uh, and the dirty water dump. So, hope you enjoyed, and we will again. We'll see you in the next one.
And now for the dirty water dump. And on this one, you can see all the tile and grout chemical that we use. It's very green. A lot of that's pushing through, but definitely dirty. Ugh. I wish you guys could smell this. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one.